Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left last time, Valerie lost her duel against the Paladin. Apparently there's no big deal either way on that one. So we'll see what happens later in the game regarding it. It's not our fault, she just did not have the attack bonus to even hit his 33 armor class. Effectively anyways, we could have got some potions and healed her as we went, but eh, it's fine. She'll be fine. These things happen. She ends up with a scar either way, so uh, that's not really a concern for us. And where are we going to go now? Here. Arbor Rock, I think. Actually, no, wait, hang on. What do we have our quest stuff to do? Well, let's look at that. We've already done all these. Adjust reward. That's the verdant area with the. Um, Guardian of the Bloom. We have to deal with trolls. He wants to go to a... Oh, we lost a quest. How did we lose that quest? We already talked to that guy. Why is it X'd out? Let's go deal with that right now. He's not dead. Where does he live again? Bartholomew's house. There's a lone house. Okay, let's get there. Eh, okay, fine, we'll fight it out. We need the experience anyways. I mean, we went into his house, we saved his life, we killed the trolls. These are all things that have already happened. Oh, whatever, just leave that alone. We shall overcome. We actually hit him. Hooray. Consider me provoked. Alright, we're getting out of here. Skin him and we're off. Let's go see why Bartholomew's thing is X'd out. I mean, it was pretty easy to get into his house. And we talked to him already, and he said he wanted some space to deal with troll stuff. There's also Thorn River Bank. We need to do that. That's a companion quest area. I need to We're definitely going to need to rest very soon. Surprisingly not yet. Oh, it's because Jaythal doesn't get fatigued. Technically it'll never come up as she needs fatigue. Ah, uh, we should probably rest though. Your mother was human, right? We're almost done, Rova. The month is nearly ended. Alright, let's go see what Bartholomew is all about. Maybe he died. If he died, that's fine. Whatever. I mean, it wouldn't be the ideal situation. Bartholomew is a decent magic -y person, but Urgongar can take that role, I think. I was successful in my search. Oh, we missed a trap, apparently. We missed two traps, apparently. What's taking so long? I'm good. Done at and done. Some giant spiders are still here, so I mean, that's fine. Let's go back and talk to him, see what he has to say. Make sure he's alive, I guess, is more the what I'm worried about. Yeah, he's right there. He's perfectly fine. Does he want to talk? Nope. I will he die. wants to be left alone. I'm not sure why that's X'd out then. Weird. Maybe a bug? He wants that whip still. Oh well, at least he's alive, that's all I care about. We didn't screw up that part of the quest. We can recruit him later into our government. After we deal with the trolls, I think, is when that happens. Our path leads so, from here, I guess we should do Jathal's quest. We're getting pretty close to a level, just under 4,000. We have Jathal with us, so we might as well 
get it out of the way. Off to here. 19 more hours of travel. We wasted a day just making sure that dude was alive. Alright, we arrived here. Let's do some quick kingdom stuff. So, Hands of Gold was a success, and we got three community, one loyalty, and two economy, and three BBs. And we did the level of the people quest, apparently it doesn't do much. A letter from Megar Varn. He wants to talk to us, but it's only available in the throne room. The wise man quest, a promising magician and scientist have arrived in the region from abroad, looking for a quiet place where they won't be disturbed. The authorities may benefit from cooperation with them. Tristan can do that one. Let's see if there's anything else we need to do first, though. Mysterious cult is Val- we can do Valerie. Alright, 61% chance is not great, but whatever. That's fine. A little bit helps. We're still dealing with those things. Sign from above, that's Harem, and he's still rebuilding that stupid temple. So, wise men, you can. Ooh, that has a grim chance, too. Alright, we'll use a crisis point, I guess. No, it's, it's only for three loyalty, anyways, so. We'll just gamble on that one. Megar Varn will do later. People are worried, apparently, but we have the love of the common folk. For now. Until they get angry at us. Now, let's go deal with this. No, we're not resting. We're just going right in. We just rested. And it's just normal rain. It's not storming out yet. I see what a surprise. I wish we had our other smell it on, though. Do you think they're up north or south? I did as you asked. That is quite a discovery. It's a lot of traps. How much are these giving for experience? 27 experience. There are several elves, right? I this is the elf lot. encounter. I don't remember it being particularly hard, but we'll see. Done and done. Our formation's wrong. How did it get screwed up that badly? Because we lost all of our melee, right? Because Amiri and our other Smilodon are gone. Alrighty, well, that's gonna have to do. One save. I need to catch my breath. Without a doubt. No, that's her. She's found us. Monster, we knew that you were always thirsty for blood. You will not take our lives easily. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Canera is first. Taste my fury. Wounded an elf. Dealt some damage to us. That one has knives. I'm actually going to move you around the elf a little bit. Let us strike as one. To try and interpose between... Stop. Oh, our Smilodon's down. It took a lot of damage, I guess. Also, that archer does a lot... <clears throat> Excuse me. That archer does a lot of damage. And it's down again. God damn it. Alright, fine. Let's do this, then. Valerie can take a fireball. Didn't really do a whole lot of damage, did it? Elves are good at reflex saves, go figure. That one hits really hard. That one's almost dead. Octavia just straight up died. She got hit for 51 damage! <laughs> okay, well, that's a little bit too much damage for Octavia to take in one hit. Are we still in this shitty formation? Okay. We need to get in proper formation this time first before dealing with the elves. Forwards. If everyone could just be in formation, that would be super. There we go. They're going to attack again. They also have really good initiative. Okay. 
So, this is a little bit better already. Let's use haste this time instead. This spell's not supposed to work. Alright. And we need... I guess we could just shoot one of them. Like that one. Or we could miss entirely. What is our armor class? 22. It's not that high. Oof. Critical hit. Right off the bat. And we missed entirely. Our Smilodon gets to go. Misses. Let's heal, because she took a ton of damage from that. Let us try as one. One dead. Um. Yeah, why not? Make her a little bit better off at hitting things. Less good at tanking, but whatever. Song. Wretched things. We missed. This is going to hurt. That was some damage. Twenty-three damage. There we go. Everything's going much better now. Octavia didn't die immediately in one hit, which is always a plus. Oh, we got Tisha's hideous laughter. Man, Lindsay, usually you're so good at hitting things. Oh, that one's dead. Burn. Can't even hit a person on the ground. There we go. This should be fine now. Woo! Alright. Repel the attack. Follow the trail down the bank of the Thorn River. I was looting things. Jethal freezes in front of the dead elven girl. It's hard to read anything on the Inquisitor's face, but her posture suggests tension. The trembling force of a slightly twisted bowstring. What a lovely child, and she looks so like my Nortellara. Even death could not twist her beauty. She brought her back to life. With a blank look in her eyes, Jethal passes her hand over the bo her girl's body. The feeling of an impressive force, cold and painful, becomes nearly physical. A convulsion passes through the body of the dead elven girl. With a quiet bone turning into a cry, the corpse opens her eyes and rises. Jethal looks at her in amazement as if she's surprised by what she has done. Animating the dead? I had no idea you could do that. I never knew this side of my power. Something has awakened in me. The ability to share Urgatha was a gift. Jethal studies her newly created undead with the look of a sculptor contemplating her creation. Withering under the stare, the undead girl begins to tremble. What have you done to me? What is this? I saved you from oblivion, you and all your beauty, foolish child. Now you bear Urgothoa's gift, just as I. You are undead, if you prefer the word used by uncomprehending narrow minds. No, no, it's better I follow my friends into death than to become a disgusting undead creature. An unnaturally strong convulsion shakes the girl's body. She glares at you. I beg you for mercy. She doesn't have a heart, but you're different. You still live. Let me die. Put me out of my misery. She thought, what are you going to do to this poor girl? I will not harm her, and I will not let her harm herself. She is frightened and does not understand the gift she just received. Elves live long lives, but they are still subjects to time. Only Urgothoa's gift can shield them from it. Eternal life, eternal youth, eternal immortal beauty. Can anything else be compared to this? Jethal says the last words thoughtfully, as if the answer is not entirely clear to her. Hope Jethal... I hope, Jethal, that you feel sorry for the senseless death of this unfortunate girl and wish to help her in your way, and you're not just entertaining yourself as you usually do. Why'd you attack us? The wide eyes of the elven girl are filled with confusion. We only meant to protect ourselves. The wanderer warned us that this monster was chasing us. The elf points at the icy calm, Jethal. He told us that she'd sought new sacrifices. Everyone in Kionin knows she killed elves for the sake of her damned goddess, and still she managed to get away with it, walking freely into exile. If we had known which, that she would track us down, we would never have left the forests of our homeland. Who was this wanderer who claimed Jethal was chasing you? 
We knew him as a wanderer, but it was only a nickname. I do not know what his true name is. He was a half-elf. My friends knew him and said he had a wanderer's soul that takes him from one place to another. I've seen him a couple times in Kionin and recently seen him on the road. He caught up with us to warn us of the danger. His brown hair and yellow-green eyes like a cat. Please. I don't know anything else. Release me. Every moment in this lifeless body drives me mad. I'm not going to let you die. With a sharp, awkward movement, like a hinged doll, the elf bends her neck and rests her head on her shoulder, silently looking at you with wide, empty eyes. Wonderful. I shall send her to the capital and find some useful tasks for her. I'm sure someone laid a false track straight to the elven camp and convinced us the elves were hunting them. Or sorry, and convinced the elves that we were hunting them. Everything points to this. And we know who did this, do we not? A sudden appearance? A dagger? A false trail? The half-blood? We have many questions to answer. I'll start with, why did you kill me? And finish with, how pathetic do you feel now, having failed twice to send me into oblivion? If Ennio really deceived both of us and or both us and these elves, forcing us to shed innocent blood, then he must be made to pay. You see, we both have something to ask the half-blood about. This will be amusing. Let us hurry to the capital. Also, let's loot the bodies. Didn't even have a magic bow. I thought for sure that he had a magic bow firing so many different arrows at once. Also, where's the other body? This is, uh, there they are. What's on them? A ring of protection, a couple of masterwork daggers, a masterwork longsword. That's it. Okay. All the young elves are dead. We killed them. Let's make sure there's no other loot around like that. Hold up. That's just straight up leather armor. And a dire boar, apparently. Two dire boars. Consider me provoked. We are in terrible formation right now. Any last wishes? Like truly awful. Flames take you. <sighs> Whatever. Can you charge? E no. Just delay then. My poor Smilodon, no! Damn, that thing hit really hard. We shall overcome. Alright. At least our Smilodon can probably kill these things. At least one of them, this turn. Then we missed all of our other time. They have 17 armor class? We had to roll a 5 to hit, and we hit 1 or maybe 2 attacks. That is just painfully bad. You know what? Just... Let's just get this over with. There. We'll waste the Scorching Ray on it. We need to rest soon anyway, so it doesn't matter. There's some loot up here. A Potion of Shield of Faith and the very phallic looking mushroom. And we'll check up here too. Just to make sure. And it's back to the capital. We'll have a quick rest in our throne room. No, oh, okay. There's definitely loot behind that thing, so we should probably kill it. I you cannot stand against me. This is for you. In real life, these things are terrifyingly scary in Attack. any setting. Moose are terrifying. They're huge. They're like walking land tanks. This is where I step in. Also, the fact that we can't hit it is a little bit annoying. 36 experience. What's in the bag? Oh. Old maps of Avistan and some coal. I will guide us. Alright, well, I think that's pretty much it for this area. Let's get out of here, and we can head off to the capital. Deal with that little problem. I think Ennio goes missing, though. I don't think he's actually in the capital. Ten hours, we can do that. We should gather our strength. We'll gather our strength in the capital. We'll also get uh, Megar Varn's letter, which is in the throne room, apparently. Sting would be nice, don't you think? 
Great news, Your Grace. Megar Varn, Lord of Varnhold, wants to form an alliance with you and establish a trade route between your lands. Here is Lord Varn's letter. See for yourself. It's probably in my inventory amidst the thousands of other things. Oh, there it is, right there. Most Honorable Baron Eltamar, this is Megar Varn, the ruler of the neighboring city of Varnhold, writing. You might remember meeting me at the reception. Our encounter had a powerful effect on me. You're a brave warrior and a wise ruler, which is why I hope to enlist your support in the future. Form a firm friendship. No matter whether gods or the sword lords have contributed to us becoming neighbors, I believe that our alliance will be steadfast as a rock. To signify the formation of our alliance, I invite you to visit Farnhold and see for yourself that my intentions are good. The city is still young, but we have lots to show our guests. Our cellars are full of wine barrels, and our storehouses of grain and cheese. It's easy to reach my city. The path of Varnhold lies in the east, past Lake Silverstep, and over the ridge of the Tours of Lebanese. Hard to get lost in these parts. Whether you accept my invitation or not, I ask of you one more thing. Consider building a route and developing trade between our lands. I'm convinced that both of us would only want to benefit from this union. I anxiously await your visit. Apparently there's an exclamation mark we need to deal with as well. I think this is the Megar Varn letter. Yeah. There's also a new project, trade agreement with Megar Varn. We unfortunately don't have anyone available to deal with that at the moment, but it gives us two BPs per week, which is pretty decent cash monies. Now we need to go find Ennio, though. Resting would be nice, don't you oh, right, we need to rest. I forgot about that. We need to get our group back to normal, because Jathal is not the best character for us. Amiri is way better with her Smilodon. Without a doubt. Should probably hand in some things here. I think we have a couple things to hand in as well. Uh, nope. 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 Alright, we still haven't gotten enough of them yet, apparently, but we did get some money. And Main Square, I think, is where any is supposed to be. Alright, let's go find Ennio. He should be down here by the Merchant's Quarter, but I don't think he is. He's fled as I expected. Jathal touches the boxes that hold the Merchant's wares. Her moves seem relaxed until you notice that her undead fingers are tense and bent like the claws of a predator. It's pointless, illogical. Those children in the woods could hardly be expected to kill us. Why the performance? There must be something... Jathal freezes. Then in an instant she pulls out a note, of Ennio, or a note from Ennio's wares. She glances at it, silently hands it to you. There's only one phrase on the note, no way out. And the image of a spiral comet in place of a signature. The symbol of Phrasma. I believe the Lady of Graves holds Urgothoa in disfavor, and the most faithful of her followers seek out undead to exterminate. True, a conflict of faith, you see. If anyone was a follower of Phrasma, he's certainly a cowardly one. First he attacks me while I was unconscious, then he tries to kill me by proxy. Is there something I'm missing? Whatever Ennio believes, he has no right to lie and drag people unwittingly into his holy war. Perhaps he's both fanatic and a fool. He struck me down like a coward in the wastelands, only to see me rise again with renewed strength. Then he used those unfortunate youngsters against me, only to fail again. A lack of scruples can be a strength, if not, or but not if one lacks will. Thank you for your help, but I will not distract you further. I'll seek this amateur backstabber and will inform you immediately of any news. If the Half-Blood wants to dispatch me to his goddess, let him do it in person. It seems that Ennio disappeared, leaving his more cumbersome belongings behind. Well, we're pretty much out of time on this video, so let's just take a quick look at goods and see if there's anything we can buy. Also, we should probably offer the 100,000 items we're carrying around. And probably get rid of some of these accessories one day, but we'll deal with that later. I don't really need a Cloak of Shadows, do we? We don't have anyone using bombs. Hmm... We've just a oh we have a couple of rings of protection. We have one ring of protection plus two that we haven't put on yet. We could probably just sell some of this armor too. All right, let's get rid of those. Oh, weapons! What are we carrying around? A dart plus two. We'll never use that. Bound of thunder is a trident. Never gonna use that. Bastard sword plus one. Maybe demolish your heavy pick. We don't have anyone that uses picks. Battle axe. We have no one that uses battle axes. I'm pretty sure. We don't need any of those. That's Jathal's old dagger. We'll keep that around. Savage bow is pretty good. Um, 
Might just keep it around for a little bit. Trident plus one is gone. So we have a bunch of money. How much money do we have? $83,000. But I really don't see anything I want to buy, in all honesty. Let's just plus four items here. No, it's not. Not plus four, I mean, but uh, plus four stat up ones. Who's Zarsi? Oh, right, she was the, sc the scroll person, right. It's always fun to get a hiccup like mid sentence. We can also buy build points. We don't need them right now, but if we need them eventually, we can. Yeah, it's just the plus two items. Kind of tempted to get a Ring of the Beast King for our main character. Would give it plus one to hit. Uh, you know what? Maybe. I'll think about that. And there's really nothing else. Oh, I guess the stratagem's a pretty good weapon. We could deal with that. Mm, I mean, the finesse wielding doesn't really help us. Or agile, whichever one gives the um, dex modifier one. Yeah, agile. But plus two is better than plus one. But still, I don't know if it's worth $15,000 for a plus one increase. So, we'll call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.